In this video, we're going to talk about water animation. Let's start with a simple droplet. We draw a circle. We add darker tones and some highlights. Let's give life to our friend by making it wobble a bit. Wobbling happens because of the instability of the surface tension, which is basically the envelope that holds molecules of water together. A droplet is similar to a bag filled by bouncing balls. Now let's talk about viscosity. The more viscous a liquid is, the more it will stretch and resist before breaking. But we want to animate water, so let's reduce the viscosity a bit. That's it. Now what happens if we add some gravity? Our droplet is now free-falling, and we can expect that at some point it will hit the ground, creating a splash. A splash is essentially divided into two acts. First act, the falling object disturbs the surface, spreading the water upward in the shape of a crown. This crown consists of a multitude of droplets traveling through the air following arcs. In Act 2, the falling object forms a pocket of air behind it, which is pushed back by the surrounding water pressure, resulting in what we can call a secondary splash. There is so much to talk about water animation. We could talk about waves, foam, bubbles and underwater, surfaces, but hopefully we will talk about all this in another video.